Hey everybody, Jimmy G here. Trudy G. We are at the James M. Robb Colorado State Park Island Acres in Palisade, Colorado. Um, going to go around, check things out, and uh, let you know what's going on. Everybody, Jimmy Gee. Trudy Gee. Uh, we're back. Uh, we're getting ready to wrap things up here at James M. Robb Colorado Springs Island Acres State Park in Palisade, Colorado. What do you got for us, son? It's Springs. No. Colorado. Colorado. Oh, not Colorado Springs. Just Colorado. Sorry about that. <laughs> Island Acres, there Colorado, you go. Palisade, Colorado. There, there you go. You go. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. So um, check in at the ranger station is after one. Um, check out is noon. Um, quiet hours are from ten to six. The speed limit is five miles per hour. That's pretty typical. Um, there is eighty total sites. Um, they start at twenty eight dollars a night, and then it's a seven dollar fee for your car per day. So it roughly comes out to about thirty five dollars. Um, it's a fourteen day in and a forty five day out. Generally, it's what. Two, 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 and two, two weeks and two weeks. Two weeks and two weeks, okay. Yeah. So there you go. Um, we have 41 full hookups. There are 50, 30 amp. There's only one that is 30 only, correct? Um, I the didn't, one over there? yeah, there's one over there, but I didn't go around and check. So the best yeah. thing to do is check the website, right. I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, there's 34 electric only and five current of camping. With that being said, definitely look at the website because the way it's done is it's literally a black and white piece of paper. So it's hard to differ differentiate. There we go. Um, between the water only, the electric only, because again, it's in black and white. So definitely check the website. It's, it's easier to do on the website because it has little icons and stuff like that. So check check the website, and that's the best way to reserve your site anyway. Right. Awesome. <clears throat> um, what else? What else do we have? Well, it is kid friendly. Yep, kid friendly. It is. It is pet friendly. Yep. Um, but there's no dog park. No dog park. Go ahead. No dog park. You gotta come up, obviously, pick it behind you. But there's no dog park. But it is a beautiful park um, for children and for pets. Um, they have vending machines and change machines. Mm -hmm. um, they have laundry. Dollar fifty to wash. Dollar to dry. And there's two of each. There's two, two each. Horses, two dryers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bathhouses. Bathhouses are good. Uh, the things I thing I noticed you saw you saw a little slide there where it has the little thing you put your money in. That's actually for the shower. It costs. <laughs> a dollar for four minutes so Sorry, if you're funny. camping shower before you get here uh, tent camping shower before you get here uh, bring some baby wipes or a roll of quarters <laughs> <clears throat> um, what else do they have here um, they do have all the sites come with 
a fire ring slash grill. Yep. And then they have these really nice little canopies here in case it rains or what have you, keep the sun away. Yeah, nice, nice sturdy picnic table. Uh, you can yeah. see the can the, the little canopy thing in the back there over Trina's shoulder. Yeah, they're right there. That's <laughs> shoulder. That's shoulder. Um, they also offer hiking, swimming, again the playground for children. Um, they have kayaking and they have fishing. With right. the fishing, you need a Colorado State license and you can purchase it here, correct? Mm -hmm. Don't know the cost, we didn't inquire about that. We're not big fisher people. Um, but definitely look on. Um, there is no cell service. Not Verizon, not AT&T, not T-Mobile. Zero. There's zero. In fact, you can't even get the local channels with your antenna. So you have to drive about 20, 25 miles? About 20, yeah. To Grand Junction in order to get cell service. Cell service. And if you notice, I don't know if you can see, but um, I-70 is right here. Um, it's a little noisy during the day, but not too too bad. At night, it's it's relatively quiet. At night, you can barely you can't even hear it. I right. couldn't hear it. It doesn't. It, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't bother us. And the fact that I seventy is right there is actually a good thing because you don't have to drive down these narrow roads to get to the campground. It's right off I seventy. Uh, very convenient location. It is. And once you're here a day, you don't even don't even hear it. Yeah, so, it doesn't bother us. No. Um, attractions. The main attraction, I guess, would be the Colorado National Monument. Um, it is the largest, I think, the largest plateau, uh, raised plateau in the country, or the world, I think. I'm not sure. You have to check the website. But um, it's a really nice drive through there. Um, <clears throat> we were there. I hiked one day, and then Trina and I went back. It was really cold, so we didn't hike. Um, but we drove and stopped at all the, all the overlooks. You saw the slides uh, I put in. Uh, really, really nice. About a two-hour drive if you take your time and you go to the overlooks and if you maybe do a little hike or two. Um, go to the bathroom before you go. Yeah. <laughs> go to the bathroom because there's only oh, the visitor center. The visitor which center. Which is, depending on which way you come in, <clears throat> is on the other side. Right. So, they got a nice little store in there. They sell some neat things. Yeah. Um, history, they got a little movie. Yep. So, and we always like to take that in so that way we don't have to stop and read every single thing. We're kind of already informed and then right. we can just enjoy the beauty of right. it. It's, right. It, it is. It's beautiful. It, it's, it's, it's well worth your while. It's, uh, I think it's $15 to get in. We actually have a uh, National Park Pass, so uh, we didn't have to pay to get in. Um, it's, it's worth it. If you're disabled... Do you remember what it is? Uh, what it costs for the passes? Uh, no, it didn't cost us anything. So if you're a disabled vet, um, you can go to any national park, uh, show your medical card, and they'll give you this pass. Retired also, correct? Retired, Retired also. Just, to okay. to, uh, to get this uh, pass for, uh, to get in any national park for free. You and you and three other people, so you can take a, a car load of four in any national park if you have this pass. It's a pretty good deal. It, it definitely pays for itself within a few, depending on how often you like to go to to national parks we do and we also have passports so. yeah th this park is set in a real nice location there's two mountains on either side of you uh, your steps from the Colorado River they have a nice walking or running trail whatever you want to do that goes down along the river loops around comes up the uh, on the banks of the river for a little bit and then comes back it's about a two-mile loop uh, that was pretty decent um, the only other thing that we that really kind of stands out here is the wineries yeah oh which yeah we, that's it yeah, they have a ton of wineries I didn't know wineries were that big of a deal in in Colorado hey where'd you go there you are um, ton of wineries just up the road probably maybe five or six miles up if the that, road. yeah if that <clears throat> so if you like to drink wine reds the best uh, then th go there uh, downtown there's a there's a lot of cool stuff you it's your typical downtown what was that Keep driving right here. it's your typical downtown um, very nice down there um, we lucked out there's no snow we're actually gonna hang out not we're actually gonna hang out in Grand Junction because there's supposed to be a snow storm coming through like Eagle and Vail, Colorado, which is the way we're headed. So we're going to chill out here for a little bit. But with um, all that said, what would you give it? I say three. That's what we talked about. Mainly because you mm -hmm. can't even get um, local channels with the antenna. And again, having children for us, and the children are 20, gonna yeah. be 28 and 20. Um, so there's no cell service. So other than that, I mean, i give it a three. Yeah, I'd give it a solid three. Yeah, I'd give it a three. All right, so uh, James Robb, Colorado State Park, uh, Island Acres in Palisade, Colorado, gets a 3G from Glamping with the Geese. Thanks for continuing to tune in, and uh, we'll see you next time.